Hello fellow thunkers, my name is Darren and you are watching Thunkable X Tutorials. And if you are new here, well, first of all, welcome. And what we do on this channel, what I do on this channel is teach you um, methods and ways and, and how you can make an app inside of a platform called Thunkable. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's a video that should be up there and in the description uh, just talking about what Thunkable is and how you can get started. But I'm going to assume you already know a little bit about Thunkable and just let you know that this video is the introduction to a little mini course on properties. Now properties inside of Thunkable, which you can see on the screen that we're looking at, they are on the right side of the screen and for every component that you have within your app there are specific properties that go along with that component so whether it's uh, some kind of design component a screen a row a button a layout a layout a uh, label <laughs> um, or some kind of specific uh, other component like a like a map component or say some kind of um, I don't know let's look through here all of these components, they all have properties. So like if we look at, you know, like the sound component, if I were to drag that in there, there it is. Sound, see this has properties over here. So over here in the properties tab, this only has a few, but it has, has some. So specifically what I want to look at um, in this little mini series is a lot of the core, what I'm calling the core properties that you're gonna have across a lot of the layout type of uh, type of components inside of Thunkable. And the reason I wanna do this is because I've had a lot of really great feedback from my design challenges on this YouTube channel. So my hope is to help you and give you some tips on how you can get better at designing apps. So what we're going to do is um, I think Let's look at, say, the row. So the first series, uh, first edition of this that I'm gonna be releasing over the next few days is we're gonna go through the height and the width. We'll look at uh, the visible property, if that component is visible. We'll talk about colors. Um, we'll get into horizontal and vertical alignment. We'll talk about what in the world margin padding is and then also go through the border properties and i think that's all i'll cover right here and i'm sure in the future i'll add some more to this playlist so be sure to follow the whole playlist which i'll also link in the description so yeah that is kind of the introductory to to what we're doing here we'll call this a little mini course on the thunkable design screen core properties and if you are totally new here and you like this series, I wanna invite you to subscribe because this channel is you know, dedicated to teaching you how to make apps. And if you wanna get kind of the bigger picture, this is my, my pitch to you. Um, I've put together a document that is called my Idea to App Store Guide. And what we're talking about here is really just totally focused on you know one little piece of actually designing a, a portion of your app, but if you want to get an idea of the bigger picture of how to create an app in Thunkable, I want to invite you to download my Idea to App Store guide. It walks you through the whole process with all of my tips on how to come up with an idea and then how to turn that into an app that can be actually be published through Thunkable on the app stores. So yeah, the Idea to App Store guide, that is all I'm going to say for this. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in uh, to the first lesson of this mini course. 